Join us today on the channel where we have a match play game with the Legio Tempestus against the Legio Metallica. Okay then, what we've got with the Legio Metallica. So as it has been pointed out, I do in fact have the front cover of the Loyalist book <laughs> with one master and two warhounds. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just, it's that pose. All right, so we are bringing a Ferox Maniple. It's been a long time since I bought a Ferox. Um, I do think it's quite basic, um, but I've decided. I like Ferox. And I'm calling you basic. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah you can have your Ferox Manipole, your pumpkin spice latte. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> but I'm bringing the Ferox. I am bringing three Warhounds with Plasma, Blast Gun, Vulcan, Mega Bolter. Let's see if we can make it work. Is it sweaty in here? Oh, it's, it's a bit sweaty, isn't it? Oh, no, it's not sweaty because <laughs> the rest is garbage. <laughs> That's the good bit of the list gone. We've then got my Princip Senor. Um, who will have a Volkite hat, uh, a laser blaster and melter, and he will have favoured by fortune. And we will also have the Bastion Armour. So this is a Legio Metallica special upgrade. So it means um, rending and fusion have no effect. So no. Um, we also... But, 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 but that's my thing. With Legio Walmart. Metallica. <laughs> <laughs> um, and to top things off, we've got, which is in fact half the points, the Warmaster uh, with the uh, <laughs> Turbo Laser Destructor. I'm having a great time. <laughs> <laughs> two Turbo Laser Destructors, um, the Revelator, two Plasmas, and the upgrade is again the Bastion Armor to try and stop that rending. Um, it's a 15 point upgrade. I had 30 points spare, so on they go. And that is. My list. What's your reactor on your warmaster? Oh, it's infused super coolant. So mm. once per game, um, I can vent heat on a two up, and that's super handy because with the Legio Metallica. So um, you all want to know this. So once they per want to know this. they want to know this, you want to know <laughs> this. Once per um, battle round, I can. Once I've activated a Titan, I can then activate another Titan um, immediately, and. Uh, that Titan will activate, do everything it does, and then its reactor goes up by two. I will double check the order on that. So that's why the Warmaster could potentially be a little bit pokey, because if I drop the shield on something, all of a sudden the Warmaster can go, Oh, hello! <laughs> How are you? <laughs> <laughs> so yes, that is my list. 2,100 points, because that's, it's kind of worked out for both of us, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. just about. So, what are, speaking of both of us... Yes. Alex. Um, Legio Tempestus, as always, Loyalist, as always. You're Loyalist too, aren't you? Loyalist! Yeah, so this is a uh, training exercise with live fire ammunition. Yes. Um, <laughs> We're going to see how, how <laughs> stuff explodes. <laughs> Let's start with the, the small stuff first. I'm running a Lupercal Manipole, which I've not run in ages. Mm. And last time I ran it, I didn't use the Lupercal thing. It was just to get three Warhounds in, because they were cheap. So I'm going to try and use it this time, and try and chop and change who's in the squadron and who's not to focus you down. Let's start with the Warhounds. So we've got three of them. We have got uh, two Tournament Pattern, Plasma and Mega Bolter. Not quite as sweaty as three, but still quite sweaty. And we've got one with a Turbo Laser Destructor and a Graviton gun. I can't remember the full name. <laughs> it makes gravity go harder. <laughs> yes. um, that did quite well for me in my last game with it. This little mm. sniper hound at the back, so I'm interested to see what I can do with it this time. And then I have a direwolf again, because the direwolf also did quite well it's in its debut, um, which you can see in our previous videos. So I'm going to double down and see if it can be impressive this turn, this game. I'm going to try and turn off the Warmaster, it'll be very funny. <coughs> Um, neutron laser, obviously, Mega Bolter Array, and he's my Princeps, so he has got Dominant, no, not Dominant Strategist, he's got Favoured by Fortune, so I can miss twice per turn. Uh, so that's the Lupercal Maniple, and I don't think we paid for any other upgrades. Oh, we have, oh, we did. Oh, we've got Bastion Shielding on all of them. Oh, so all four of the Hounds have Bastion Shielding. But that's not why you're here. The reason you're here is obviously the Warmaster Titan. Same as Sophie, we're going for Plasma, Plasma, Revelator, 
uh, <laughs> that we've got. <laughs> if you <laughs> dance great in the town. Plasma, plasma, revelator. So plasma, plasma, revelator, inferno, inferno. Smash. <laughs> <laughs> If you do have double inferno guns, um, why? I'm not sure. Um, I've painted and magnetized all of them, so that's not even an excuse. Um, <laughs> I've not used a flamer template in years, so I thought I'd give it a go. It might be funny. Um, he's got a whole pile of upgrades because I had the points, so if he wants to play 2100. Uh, so we've got dedicated void shunts as our reactor, so once per turn, or oh, per battle round, I can push my voids for free, which is quite nice. We have Bastion Shielding, so we can do it again. Um, plasmatic Binders, which are the same as your reactor. So Loyalist War Gear, once per game, uh, I can vent heat on twos rather than fours. And we have a Spark of Vengeance, which is whenever we fail Machine Spirit roll, we do Wrathful automatically. Oh, nice. Uh, because I will be pushing... Actually, I didn't pay for any pushing weapons. Oh, well. The no, you can, you can push... Oh, I can, but Fusion yeah. won't work on you. Well, it, it'll still work on... Okay. And, the stress, and I can we... push my feet and push yeah. the turns and so on, so it might come up. And I have 10 points spare. I think that is it. So I am also 2,100 on those. Uh, stratagems will be in the list description rather than going for all of them. You'll see them as they come up, but you can go read them now if you're interested. I think that's it. That's it. Should we find out what mission we're doing? Yes. Alrighty then, you join us in deployment. Alex, take us through the mission, your deployment. How are you feeling? What are you up to? Cool. In what order? What I'm you... feeling fine. How are you, sir? <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. I'm ready for Titanicus. I'm looking forward to a silly game. Uh, neither of us are taking it especially seriously. But deployment. I can't remember what it's called, but it's this one. It's the wedges like that and like that. Uh, my mission is to salt the earth, in particular this bit of earth here. So if during the end phase I have a model within range, I can destroy it and I get lots of points if I do it early and fewer points if I do it late. You know how it works, I'm sure. My secondary is engage and destroy, so kill you. Uh, more of you I kill, the more points I get, and that's that. Not complicated. Uh, deployment. I've got a warhound with a plasma over here. I've got my rifle hound over here. I have the war master here. And I'm combat dropping my other warhound. And then finally, my direwolf arrived here, not very far forward, but behind cover. Um, and it meant I was three drops, so I will be a d10 of the priority roll. Sophie, what's your deployment? What's your plan? What's going on? Yes, so objectives, my primary objective is... Oh, I can't remember what it's called. It's Honour the... thy forebears. Yes, yes. Uh, so the warmaster um, can't die. And then I've got deny them. So the two deny them targets are the warmaster mm -hmm. <laughs> and the reaver next yep. to him. Uh, so I've got to make sure they live. To be honest, that was kind of the plan anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, all of their forebears isn't just live. You're carrying a banner. If he dies, the banner drops. Someone else can pick it up. So not all, not everything is lost if he dies. Yes, exactly. Okay, are we ready for that all-important roll-off? Yes. Alex, you're on a d10. Off we go. I rolled a six. Oh, I know. I've got two. Oh, no, I didn't. You didn't. Cool. Would you like to take priority? I will take priority. All right, we'll be back in battle round one. You join us with a first fire. First of all, uh, no stratagems played. Nope. Orders phase, Alex passed his first fire. I failed my full stride. <laughs> and then we're going straight into that first fire with the dire hound into into the one on your right, because it's more out in the this open for finishing them off if this works. right -o. and this is a newly painted model that yes. I haven't played with before. So... <laughs> so. <laughs> Are you within 30? Uh, yes, so yeah. plus one to hit. I can see you clearly, so hitting on twos. Okay. I'm not going to aim, we're going to see where we go. We're going to roll the reaction dice as well. We do hit, and we get a heat, which is fine. Nice. So, where do we hit you? In the body. We are strength seven on a neutron laser. Yeah. So three up. So that's a 13 to the body. Very good. That's um, a good start. Which is a good start. And do we turn you off on a three plus? Yes, we do. Okay, so that is that Titan. Um, off and hurt. Yeah. Cool. cool. We'll do the rest <laughs> of the movement. We'll come back when something else happens. Coming in after the repair phase, Alex, take us through your movement. So, what have we done? Obviously, the Dire Wolf's not moved because it's first fired. We've come forward a little bit with the Rifle Hound. Didn't actually need to, really. I was already in range, but it felt silly not to move. Mm -hmm. 
we pushed movement on the Warmaster, obviously got the heat back on a single heat and have come forward. And our Warhound over here has come forward as well. I feel very exposed, but I've got Bastion shielding and so on. We should be able to weather some fire. Sophie, what have you done in response? So, obviously we're shut down over here. Yep. Um, I, was t I was toying with the idea of adaptive tactics, but um, now I've decided not to. Um, we've moved up here trying to sort of hide a little bit from that War Master. We'll see. Um, we've then pushed up with these two. I rolled double heat, but we've got all our heat back, so we're all green. Yep. Um, and then we push for movement over here. Um, just trying to get sneak that Warhound round in a very unsubtle <laughs> uh, flanking manoeuvre. It's not a subtle game, is it? No. Uh, damage control, I think you rolled double heat on the reaver. Did you get it both back? I did indeed. Yeah, so I think everyone is fresh. Yes. And you did get a void back on that Warhound as well. Yes, I did. So because of that, I'm going to try and turn the other one off. Okay. So going into combat, mm -hmm. Direwolf into your Warhound there. So a uh, single heat and a hit. Very good. Where do we hit you? Oh, sorry, no heat and a hit. We hit you in the body. Strength seven. So that is a 11. Yes, so you do tap me for some damage. Oh, I'm gonna have to get loads of pips out now, Alex. Yeah, I know, and we turn you off. Ah, very good. I, I am astonished. I did not expect to do anywhere near this well. I have, people have lied to me about dire wolves. Uh, are you in bolter range? You probably are, you know. Oh, range 20, probably not, actually. Where do you put my tape measure? There you go. Um, yes. Yes. However, they are low down, uh, so we are going to be on minus two. Very good. So three, four, five, six. Looking for fives. That is a hit, obviously not aiming. Mm -hmm. Strength four to your legs, so nothing. Nothing. And that is him done. Okay, um, Alex, can you check arc? I think that warhound is going to fire into that warhound. Yep, he's your obvious target. So your yeah. arc is your carapace, isn't it? Yes, it's so. So yes, easily yeah. in there's your line. What are, my, what are my minuses? I'd, probably not much, really. We're trying not oh, to get the camera down one, there. yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. You are within 12, uh, not that matters. Don't know why I checked. No. no. So we'll start off, obviously, with the Vulcan Megavolta hitting yes. us fours. Do, do, do. So that's going to be three. Three. Um... Do we want to push or do we want to Bastion Shield? We will Bastion Shield, get it out of the way now before I forget about it, so it's spent. I'll just mark that in a minute for the ones that have it. Three is rolling ones. Good thing we pushed. Uh, we drop a shield. Very good. On Mr. Plasma. And then we will go for Plasma, well, for the Plasma. Two shots, hitting on fives. Very good, center mass. Yeah, we'll not, um, obviously not maximal firing. Oh, thank you. No worries. Um, Never say I don't look after you. Yay. Uh, three, three, so that will be a, uh, that'll be a hit. Cool, and then? Seven, seven that'll be a hit on the trees. Yay, pop. Cool, so one save. I won't push for that. So four up, go through. So a single pip remaining. And that will be that activation. Yes. And where would you like to go next? Um. I didn't expect to turn both your hounds off. No. <laughs> no, I don't think you did either, did no. you? No. Um, we do only have one shield left there. Your Reaver is actually quite capable of popping that shield and putting a melter on my head. So we're going to go with this Warhound first mm -hmm. before he dies. We're going to pick your Reaver as a target. You're obviously an arc. Mega Bolter first if you're within 20. Which yeah, you are. Be. I've been playing too much AOS. I've got used to being able to pre-measure ranges. Yeah. So now I'm really nervous whenever I need to <laughs> check a range. Um, obviously, I can see you absolutely fine. Oh, yes. So we're looking for threes. That is three. Five hits. Five hits. I will push my reactor. Very good. For that. Whoop. Here we roll that one. And that is full house across the board. Lovely. And then plasma, center mass, looking for fours. Two misses. Can I have those gas dice back, please? Yes, they are here. So the first one is going to go an inch that way. That's going to so be two hits. hits. Second one is going to go three inches that way. So this probably one. Probably one. Yeah, because it's an oval base going that direction. Uh, oh, hang on. I think actually, oh, yeah, that's going to be as a miss. So two. Oh, okay. Um, I'm not going to push for these. Nope. Uh, so we'll keep that heat. Whoop. So I do drop one. Hooray! Okay, 
then that reaver, you are entirely correct because that reaver will open up in response. Makes sense to me. Um, and we're going to go with the laser blaster. Okay. So this is hitting you on fours. Are you shield baiting? Yes. Yeah, that's good. Um, I know you've only got one shield left, but it's worth it. Yep. Um, well, maybe not for two heat. <laughs> I had a single hit. Yes. Um, our reactor is absolutely fine. So it'd be fives or fives with rolling ones. It's almost certainly not worth it. So I don't know why I'm doing this, but I will push. Uh, we're fine, we get heat. Okay. That was improbable. Then we will we will shoot the... Uh, yeah, we'll have to go for the um, Volkite. Okay. Oh, can you remember the Volkite stats? Yes. I'm not going to push. So if you don't push, you haven't got the card, have you? No. Uh, no, I can't remember the stats. Let's look it up. Back in a second. Okay. All right. We looked up some rules. I can't remember Volkite. It's a weird weapon, but we're not... Um, Beaming this, so no draining, because I'm one pip away from the orange. That is going to be one hit, so three shield saves. Ooh, on fours. Uh, that's not worth pushing, so fours. Uh, well, no, we push on the health, so voids will collapse. Very good, and then we will hit that um, melter. Uh, so look for threes. Center mass. Two that's hits. Two hits. Not with infusion range, obviously, no. but it's only a warhound, so you probably don't need to be. <laughs> so we will hit you in the... Legs. Okay. For a 15 and a 16. That will, surprisingly enough, be a pair of crits. One, two, three, four. Didn't get out of enough pips. Shame on me. Two crits. Ow! Oh, well, take that. Not as my legs. Need those. Yeah. Cool. But you are done now with that I'm reaver. I'm done with that reaver. Okay. Um, doesn't really matter what order I do this in now. We'll go with the Warmaster mm -hmm. into your Reaver. Okay. So, uh, I am going to... How many shots is the Revelator? It's nowhere near as cool as it sounds with a name like Revelator. Three shots, strength eight. I'll see if it's... I'll fire that first. Are you in arc? Because it's corridor. Yes, so your, part, yes. your base is partially in, so you're in. So there'll be three shots hitting on threes. Mm -hmm. you got one Void left, was it? No, I've only taken one. Your voids are fine, your yeah. reactor's not. That's right. This is still the right call because the plasmas will hurt you more. Yes. It is limited, but whatever. We hit you once. All right, we will try and save it. No pushing. So we'll we use our favoured by fortune. Yep. Uh, to reroll that one uh, into a one. Marvellous, okay. always the way. So we're so now okay. on fours. Okay, then we're going to fire Suzerain, Suzerain class plasma destructor yeah. first. Hitting on threes. You're not with, are you within 16? Plus one to hit with a 16. Hit with a 16. No. Yeah. Hitting on twos. Yeah. yeah that's exciting. Uh, still only two hits. Very good. Um, we're not going to push this. Well, no, because I can't really afford to. So I've still got one shield up. Oh, damn it. Okay, and then we'll fire the other one. Yeah. We hit you once. Lots of ones in this game. Okay, four up for the shield. Just the one. Hey. We're good. Doesn't care. Uh, your activation. Okay, I think the only activation I've got is um, the... <sighs> Which target are we going to go into? Which target can we see? We can see. Yeah, plasmas are quite low down, so you might yeah. struggle to see over this into my hands. Yeah, exactly. Um, do I want to just start chipping away at that War Master? Yeah. Yeah. Um... Oh, actually. Oh, this is such a hard choice. So it's going to be minus two from everything into that die wolf. Um, so we're just going to do that. Into die wolf? Yeah, we're going to hit that minus two. Cool. Am I in corridor? Um, I mean, what are you firing first? But am I in corridor? No, you're not in corridor. So you're not going to find a revelator in No. Very good. So we're going to start off with the fives on the first. So we're pushing for shield bane, hitting on fives. No hits, but for free? But for free, and then we'll do it again. For one hit and two heat. One hit and two heat. Okay, okay. Um, is that worth an early push? It'll only lose one shield, but we're going on to fours. That's both your lasers done, isn't it? Mm -hmm. um, I will use his bastion shielding. Okay. So fours, we're rolling ones, we're fine. Then the first one hitting on fives. Nope. And the second one hitting on fives. 
Do you know what? I don't think that would have fared much better against your uh, your war master. So no. I'm kind of <laughs> okay. kind of fine with that. And then I've just got these two bullying warhounds. Yes. So we know we're within range of the one on the back. The one at the back is damaged, so we're going to focus fire on that one. Okay. Um, let's begin with this warhound. Okay. But... You've already shot the dire wolf. Yes, I have. Yes. Correct. So you've chose wisely. Yes. <laughs> um, clearly, I don't play enough this game. Yes, Warhound into your Warhound. Okay. I'm not gonna aim. I don't think it's worth it. Don't need to. Just pew. Yeah. We'll fire the grab first. So okay. I'm looking for a three. That's a miss. We'll fire the turbo laser. Are you in, do you want to check range? Because we are a little bit far apart. 32 for a yeah. laser. We're within 30 on the other one. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, not, not much. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, it was worth checking, the thing I is, think. You've not moved. Yeah. Uh, do I want to aim for this? What, am I, well, I'll start again. Am I on a bonus to your body yet? You are on plus one. You strength nine into your body. I suppose just chipping away. Uh, no, I'll just shoot and see what happens. Okay. So, threes. One hit. In the body anyway, so that is going to be strength nine because it's already damaged. So that'll be a 14 to your body. That is indeed a critical. Very good. I was having a terrible day. Yes, because now it's reactor will go up. Mm. Mm. Mm, interesting. But I am done. Um... And so am I, because everything shut down. Sorry. <laughs> You're not sorry! No, no, I am, but not enough to not try and do it again yeah. next turn. <laughs> Priority for turn two? Yes. Six. Five. <laughs> it would be funny just to turn them off again. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll take priority. Cool. Okay, you join us in the movement phase of turn two. So let's start at the top, strategy phase. Sophie, I took priority. Mm -hmm. So I once again gave, what was I about to say all that attack, for goodness sakes. I gave first fire to my dire wolf uh, and it went to you. What did you do? So I gave emergency repair to my princeps. Uh, it is one of my secondaries. Alex is trying to knock it out. So um, I turned all his shields back on. So he is up to full shields. Yep. All my progress undone. We should just say neither of us did any stratagems. No. Uh, I decided not to do any more orders, so it went back to you, mm -hmm. and you tried to full strike the warhound, I think. Yes, and thanks to Iron Resolve for one command point, stratagem point, um, it passed, and then I managed to full stride the other warhound. Yeah, so both are on full stride. Obviously, for the neutron laser, it's shock, so you clear the shutdown at the end of the turn. Mm -hmm. Finally, end of the stratagem phase, brought in my other warhound. He scattered three inches back, stopped the extra table, basically bang on where I wanted to be, more or less. Yes. So, we're into the movement phase, and once again, we're going to see if we can do it for a third time. My Dire Wolf's going to try and shut down this back Warhound here. Mm -hmm. So, one shot, within 30, he's so looking for a two. He's draining. Uh, that is a hit. Can you mark me up for a heat, please, Sophie? Mm, I certainly can. Dire Wolf on your bottom right. Okay. And where do we hit you? We roll a one, but hit you in the legs, mm -hmm. so it's superficial. So on a six, it'll turn you off. Okay. No. I, I, I thought I was going <laughs> to happen, but luckily we're good. Shall we do the rest of the movement and come back in a moment? Yes. So we're into turn two, combat phase. We've done some more movement. Where should we begin? Lots of things have changed. Mm-hmm. Um, Sophie, what's happened with your movement? I can't remember what order things occurred in, but... Yeah. Okay, so I'll see if I can recollect um, as such. So I've... Move that Warhound round, and I've used adaptive tactics to take him off full stride. Yep. Um, and so he's now staring down that other Warhound. Mm-hmm. Um, I think you moved up both here. Yes. My Reaver stayed still. Yep. This Warhound has fully stridden. Yeah, he's um, not done his full stride move yet, though, has No, he? no, he hasn't. Yeah. Um, and the Warmaster, you moved your Warmaster here, and I've decided to ignore you completely. Cowards! <laughs> and... Just for now, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna stare down this warhound. Yeah, I yeah. think he's in trouble because he pushed movement to get over that building, rolled double heat, and damage control. His voice turned off. Yes, and he also got nothing back. Yes. So uh, he is. Um, this is what we call a problem. <laughs> so, <laughs> but he might still be there. You never know. Yes. Uh, rest of damage control was fairly uneventful for me. Yeah. Um, um, I think my weaver is now missing one 
uh, heat. Yep. Oh, I did get a void back on my Warhound over there. Yes. So that will, that will draw out some damage mm. uh, if he's still there. Because going into combat, we're going to start with that Warhound who we were just pointing at. Yes. Into your Reaver. Yes. Neither of us have moved, so we're still clear out of sight, within range, etc. Yes. Your voids are back up, so we'll begin mm. with the Mega Bolter. That's a pretty good roll. Yeah. Uh, that is seven hits. I'm going to push my shields flat because that is the smart choice. Uh, so Machine Spirit does awaken. Okay, so command check. Um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna command check that, so I'm needing a four. So you so do pass, I do pass. But you do get a heat and lose two voids. Yes, thank you very much. Not a problem. Um, do you know what, I'm gonna favor by fortune one of okay, these. Okay, so you lose one void already, and the favor by fortune pays off. Yes. So you're still on threes. Very good, and then we're going to drop a plasma on your head, center mm -hmm. mass, so looking for fours due to the range, a hit and a miss. The miss. It's going to go that way nine inches, so two more saves, please. Okay, these are on two, three ups. I'm not going to push again. No, I can't afford to with the heat. Wicked. You're fine. Okay, and then we're going to spend two command points for weapons to fall and try it again. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, weapons to fall, if anyone doesn't know, after activating a Titan or in the combat phase, you can activate Titan again, mm -hmm. even, if it's, even if it's already activated. Fire all your weapons, but afterwards, or D10 on the reactor overload table. Okay. So I expect them to be gone. Um, but maybe I can drop your shields first. Yes. So, Mega Bolter into mm. your Reaver. That is still very good. That uh, is five hits. I am going to have to push for that one. Um, <sighs> only one hit, but I am A okay. Oh, Zophie. This is not what you're supposed to do. This is supposed to be cool. Plasma, <laughs> center mass, fours. No hits. Uh, three inches that way, so that'll be one with noble base going yes, that direction. Yes, that's right. And the other one, uh, ten inches that way, so a single save, please. Three up. Uh, okay, right, that didn't pay off, did it? And then a d10. Yes. Nine. I think nine is a problem. Cheat sheet will be somewhere <laughs> over there. Do you God, know it's been a while it since we've needed the cheat sheet. Yes. Um, I've even got the rule book. Talk amongst yourselves. Yes, because a nine. Here we go. Oh, yeah, that's a problem. Is it? Is it? The Titan is destroyed. <laughs> Excellent. Right. Command check to fire again. Okay, you need five up here. Eight. All my guns. Your voids are going down, Sophie. <laughs> this warhound has fired three times this turn <laughs> so far. Oh no, yes. it can't wildfire. So no. Yeah. Uh, so we are hitting you on fours now yeah. because we are dying. Okay, right, good. So that is four, uh, seven hits. Please fail seven some, hits. some shield saves. I do, uh, I can't, no, I'm not gonna push that reactor. Push your reactor, you coward. Actually, I am gonna push that reactor because I do need these voids to stay up. Um, and you're hitting on fours because it's just Tempestus, isn't it? Yeah. Not the, um, so I get to reroll that one. So I drop, <laughs> so I'm in the orange. Okay. And I've got two shields left. Okay. And then plasmas mm -hmm. hitting on fives. Yes. That is a hit and a miss. Okay, where did Voids are going down, Sophie. Uh, four inches that way. Oh, do you want to check that one for me? Okay. I'll do it live. So four there. Can you pass me the blood? No, I've got it. Don't worry. Not worried. And four. That is unfortunately going to be a miss. That's fine. You're going to fail both these uh, yeah. shield saves. But I do need four ups on both of these. Oh, my shields are on one. <sighs> and you do go pop. Yes, uh, so it was Cataract Meltdown, wasn't it? Yes. So Blast Radius is D3 plus my pips. Yes. Is that so ring a bell? Uh, two. One, two, three, four, five. So that's going to be seven inches. So you're definitely clipping my Warhound and you do just miss your Warhound. Yes, master. Precision Tempestus play. Mm -hmm. So D6 hits at strength scale, scale plus one or scale? That's right, it's scale plus one. Five. Hits three, to my, five. these are strength seven. Strength seven. To your legs, that'll be nothing, nothing, nothing. And then 10, 11, 11. Okay, um, so if you could Mark me up, that is this one here. So 10, 11, 11. No, you haven't got any pips out. There we go. So that will be three directs. One, two, three. And then he's a crater. He is a crater. The crater escape. Good, that went uh, about as expected. Yes, very um, good. 
Your activation. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm then going to full stride. It is directly forward. Yep. So going eight inches there. And then, after that, we're going to activate my Warmaster. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm doing this as my Legio Metallica, okay. uh, which is my once per turn. I'm putting this Warmaster into this poor Warhound. Very good. You do gain two heat, is that right? At the end. At the end. So after I've done everything. Okay. Because we're going to get some spicy action going on. First of all, we're going to fire the first Revelator. So this is going to be hitting you on twos, I believe. Uh, uh, not the Revelator, the... The Suzerain? Yes. Uh, yes, within, are we within 16, it looks like it. It should be. Yeah, and there's no we'll cover. Double check for... Yes. Oh, only just there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Precision movement. Yeah. So hitting on twos, not aiming. Are you fusioning? I am fusioning. Within, is that how it works? Are you within fusion range? Yes. So it is draining? Yes. And I will be maximal firing these. Okay, all the bonuses. Going hard, going home. Let's go. So a heat and three hits. Yes. So now I need three D10s. Yes. Going into... A weapon. Weapon! Oh, I know you said it. <laughs> the uh, legs. No. Uh, is that going to just kill him outright immediately? It's going to be three criticals. Okay. Um, and probably off the end of the track as well. Uh, so it's going to be one, two... Three, four, five. Yeah, that will take you off the end of the track. Marvellous. And yes, that is an engine kill. Engine kill to you. Do I get to shoot before I die? Yes, with all my guns. Yes. Uh, now. Now. Mm. Now. Do I want to start softening up your Warmaster? Do you? Or do I want to put some damage into him? He's got two shields. Yes. Yes, that's very irritating. We'll go into your hound. Okay. So turbo laser, we will shield Bane. Once I find the react dice, if you touch both of them. Yoink. Thank you. So we are looking for fours here. So that is a heat and a machine spirit and a hit. Mm -hmm. So command check, which we don't pass. So let's put that to one side. And then on the machine spirit table, and a four? Four. Please. All righty. Um, what I shall do is I shall then roll. Should in fact, machine spirit table, we're allowed to not know off by heart. Yeah. We know also, like one the, and six. the gun doesn't fire, so you don't take the save. Because it's instead of firing if you fail the command check. Oh, yes. Belligerent, move okay. D6 inches towards the nearest enemy unit. Right. So four inches. Yes. Uh, I believe you stop. Yes. So yeah. nothing happens. I do yeah. gain a heat, though, for my trouble. Yes, I have already marked you up. And then I'll fire the grav mm -hmm. and your warhound, looking for a four. Right, okay, nothing happens. And then I die. Yes. So adding plus one to this. Meltdown. Meltdown! Engine <laughs> cow! <laughs> okay. Um, blast radius is two to seven, seven. So that will hit my die wolf, I expect, and nothing else. I expect so, but you are in the front. So well, that's something, isn't it? Yes. Uh, D6 hits. Three hits. Look at this mess of dice. Strength scale plus one, so seven. That is triple one to my legs. <laughs> Okay, they, that didn't even die impressively. Good job, Warhound. Pop goes the war. Now, all the rest of your firepower is wasted. So yeah. I think really I won that trade. Yeah, that's fair. That was a very inefficient use of all those guns here. <laughs> <laughs> Whee! Um, and that counts as your activation, because you full strode. Yes. Cool. <laughs> right, what am I doing again? Um, the Dire Wolf's going to try and turn him off. Okay. Because you're actually kind of out of pieces now, other than like a Reaver. Yes. And a warhand on your flank. So, laser into him. Mm -hmm. Are you still within 30? Can you check for me, please? I have moved and grooved. And 30 inches takes you to there. So, no. No. Okay, it's looking for a three. So, draining. I'll roll it first because it doesn't matter. A heat. Animus. I will favor my fortune, which I've not done so far this turn, into a hit. Mm -hmm. And we are in your side armor. Where do we hit you? Oh, uh, can you still turn me off if you've hit me in no. the weapon? Oh. Uh, so it's going to be a strength 10, 11 to 1 to 3, your left gun. Uh, we break your right-hand gun. We turn your bolter off. Okay. Um, I was going to say, it's got to be my bolter because you can't see my plans for it. Cool. Well, that simplifies things. Yes. Which hound is he? He is this one. This one here. So your bolter is broken. Mm-hmm. Well, that was underwhelming and you're out of, bolt, out of um, mega bolter range. Yes. Who are you? I will then go with my Reaver. Okay. Because I think I've got to with his one shield left. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not going to shield Bane. 
Um, but we are going to go into uh, the War Master with the Laser Blaster first. Very good. Uh, so this is just hitting, hitting your threes. One hit. One hit. Um, there's probably some bigger guns coming my way. Oh, yeah, I won't push this. Cool. So threes. We're good. Okay, we'll then go with the um, Volkite. Okay. So hit your threes. So that's going to be two, four so saves. Four saves. So I'll use my free push for, for the round using my dedicated void shunts. Mm -hmm. So three through rolling ones, we're fine. And then we'll pop the melter into you. That's a hit. So two more saves. Not going to push. Uh, I drop two shields. One, two. There we go. Okay. Are you done? That's it. Okay. Uh, let's go with this Warhound mm -hmm. into your Reaver, because you still have a Void up. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go with the Mega Bolter first. Looking for threes. That is four saves, please. Don't you dare. Oop. Okay. Oh, shields do go down. Okay, and then you can have a Plasma. We will Maximal Fire, Center yes. Mass, all the good stuff. So we are looking for fours. Mm. That is... Is that cocked or is no, that... No, go for it. Okay, so four hits mm -hmm. at strength, ten for rear armor, twelve. Watch as I really, really, really mess up one of your You'll weapons. be fine, I believe in you. In the body, uh, so nothing, mm -hmm. a fourteen, and a crit. Okay, wonderful. If you could mark me up, please. Fourteen is devastating, then one, two, three, four, and your first critical hit. I have a feeling that Reaver is going to go down as it has a Warmaster pointed directly at it. Yes. Okay, um... We're then going to fire this Warhound into your Warmaster. Very good. And we're going to... You were in 20, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. Volker Mega Bolter. That's going to be four hits. Four hits. Uh, how's my reactor doing? Reactor's fine. Okay, we'll push. Might even stumble forward. Yeah. Uh, a heat and a shield, please. Okay. And then we'll plasma. Again, uh, not maximum firing. We'll just do it on this shoulder. Yep. That's four hits. Okay. So am I on three still? You are. Okay, so I'll spend my Bastion shielding at that point because I'm one pip off guard fours, aren't I? Yeah. So three is re rolling ones, re roll is ones. We drop a single shield. Okay, you are now on fours. Oh dear. Mm. And onto my Warmaster. Yes. I'm going to kill your Reaver. Yay! Yes. <laughs> uh, you're not in flamer range, sadly. We'll find out what flamers do next game. But we don't know. We, I'm pretty certain we're not. Oh. No. Shame. Oh. How long is a famous template? Eight and a half inches. Ugh. Annoying. Okay, uh, my reactor is still fresh. So I'm going to yeah. fire my first suzerain. Uh, you're, where are you damaged again? In the body. Mm. Do I even need to maximal fire? What's the strength again? It's Eleven. going to be, well, it's strength 13 okay. if you maximal fire. With you, uh, you don't get fusion though. Okay, so it's 11 base. Yeah. So the minimum we can do is a 13, plus your track is a 14, so it's doing devastating or crits mm -hmm. without any any bonuses. So I'm going to go with no bonuses in with your body. Okay. Uh, we don't hit. Okay. Very good. You're going to try that one again? Yeah. Uh, I was hoping for a bit more than that. Of course, I could just shoot you and see where I hit. No. We're going to just shoot you again and see what happens. Okay, it, no it, maximal firing, no shenanigans. So I ignore your fusion because mm. of my... Um... Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm aware. Um, and fusion is what requires draining, isn't it? Yes. Cool. We'll maximal fire and okay. we will not aim because I need to hit you with something and do some damage. Okay. So threes. So three hits. Should have aimed. <laughs> In your legs. So that'll be a nothing. A 14, so 16. And an 18 to your legs. I believe that's going to be too critical. I certainly hope so. So one, two... Three, four, but still alive. Mm, but I'm on half movement, which stops me charging you next turn. Yes. Mm. Uh, are you in Ardex arc? Um, your Warhound. I am in, oh, Ardex. Got a laser there, gonna check for it. Oh my I God, what the box? Box. Maybe, do I just have to be in? Yeah. Yeah, then yeah. So D3 hits, three hits on your voids, please. Uh, I believe he has no voids. Yeah. Ah. So D3 okay. strength 5 hits in my side arc. Yes. That's a pretty good roll. Shame it's mm. a weapon. 
Uh, your left hand weapon, that will be enough to break it, won't it? Yes, my yeah. Vulcan Mega Bolter goes down. No bolters for anybody, that's this chap here? Yes. His weapon cards the wrong way around. Is that intentional? There we go. It shouldn't be. <laughs> <laughs> um, is that everyone? Um, Not... I've just got. Yes. So we'll just. Uh, the two plasmas, I think I'm outside of eight of you. Yeah. Uh, so fours. Obviously not Ooh, maximum firing. Four saves. saves. I'll use my Bastion Shielding if you can knock it off for me. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> okay, we drop a shield. Okay. And that's all she wrote for, her, for that Titan. Yes. Um, that was a turn. You've still got... Oh no, that Warhound has fired. He has fired. Yes. He stripped the voids and then uh, plasmaed you in the back. Yes. So, um, end phase. We've got any crits to resolve. You've got wobbly legs in your reaver. Yes, so which way does he turn? Well, I, I can't remember which One to three, left to right. Oh, one, yes, yeah, so it turns to his right. Either way. Yep, yeah, sure. And anyone on my side got problems? I've also got uh, that reactor. Mm. So oh dear. Push him into the red. Very good. Mm -hmm. um, no one for me having problems. I think everyone you've shot, you've more or less killed. So, priority for turn three. Yes. A nine. Ah, uh, one of these days I'll get it, Alex. Mm, not this game, though. Not this game. Um, I will take priority. Okay. You join us in the repair phase Ooh. as we have a toasty Titan. Uh -huh. um, so we'll take us through the movement. Alex, first of all, where did you move? I started with the strategy phase. Where did you move in after the last strategy? Yeah, play, <laughs> play Concealment Barrage there. Um, so the Warhand's out on that objective. Uh, mm -hmm. Unless I die to an explosion, I should get my full 25 points. That was it for the strategy phase. I did no orders. Did you do any? Um, I tried a charge order uh, over here, but that didn't quite work out. So never mind. Never mind. Uh, and then movement. He moved into the barrage to score points. Mm -hmm. The direwolf rotated and shuffled over here to guard the backside of the uh, very exposed Warmaster. And the Warmaster uh, moved back a little bit when your Reaver came forward, so we are within flamer range, but not too close, is the thinking. Mm. Uh, Sophie, what did you do with your movement? So I, I've chucked the Warhound round there, chasing you, mm -hmm. but putting within line of sight of that Warmaster. We'll see if I'm in range. I'm not 100% yep. sure. You're also lined up to kill that Warhound when the barrage disappears next yes, turn. Yes, exactly. Uh, the Reaver just shuffled forward. Its legs are damaged. Its reactor's cooking off. That, that's The Princeps is getting ready yep. to uh, fall over. The uh, Warmaster, again, chucked that Warmaster right into the view. This Warhound... Um, Again, we're just aiming up those shots. I've also chucked Blind Barrage um, because yes. I didn't want any of my Titans getting shut down because I need to focus that down this turn um, and see how we do. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, so I, Alex is going to do his War Master. Yep, so I obviously first activation. I roll, that's pretty good. Um, can't do anything to twos or threes, but that is four. So we're going to go one, two, three, four. Oh, shields go back up. Shields back up to full. Then I need to roll a d10 on this cheeky chappy over yep. here. And that will be a five. So I believe voids collapse. Voids but... are already out. So it's d3 strength nine hits to the body. Um, would you like to roll this, Alex? Why do you want me to roll it? You know I got... <laughs> Let's try again on the table. Two. Two strength Straight nine down hits. Um, roll them up. You've got a plus one to this. Strength 10 hits to the body. That is a 14 and a 15. Okay, so the 14 will go one, two, and the 15 is a crit. So I am on the end <laughs> of my track, and then I do get to repair. Um, we're just gonna, we're gonna repair one of that. Yeah. I don't even want to, oh no, what we're gonna do, and then we're gonna repair, oh, we're, we're gonna repair two heat, you know. Heat or shields? I can't do the shields because I've got void shield burnout. Ah, okay. Yeah. So fixing the heat on the off chance. The uh, rest of the repair rolls we can do off camera. Should we do that and come yeah. back in a second? Yeah. Okay, repair rolls done. Yep. Things are fine. I repaired both Vulcan Mega Bolters, so we are fully operational death platforms. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I vented the heat on my Direwolf. My Warhand over there failed everything. So he is still down one shield. But you're not here to see what Warhands can do. You're here to see a Warmaster bully a Reaver. Yes. Uh, combat. Me first. Warmaster is going to set your Reaver on fire. Whoosh. So we are in flamer range. Whoosh. You ready to see why people don't take flamers? 
Uh, these are strength seven firestorms. They auto hit, uh, but they do need to roll to see where they hit. Yes. So the first one hits you in the legs for a nothing, a nothing. Uh, oh, is there a bonus to your legs? There is, but it's not quite enough, so that would put you on a 10. You need an 11 for the legs. Yep, so that is an 11 for the first one to your legs. Okay, so pops me out the pip. Okay. The second one. Second whoosh. one. Whoosh. Legs again. Any bonus now? Uh, so you are still on a... Oh, you're on a plus two. Plus two. So seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yep. So that's an 11, um, a 14, and a 15. 11. Right, so we'll go an 11. A uh, 14. That is engine kill. Engine kill! With a flamer. At last. Fear the mighty flamers. They're awesome taking every game. Here we go. So yes! that's a 10. <laughs> so D3 plus. So what's the pips on a reaver? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's going to be 7 inches. Okay. I think it's just going to be 1 and 2, isn't it? Perfect precision, just as planned. Yes. D6 hits at strength 9. Yeah, let's roll. I'm going to roll for yours. Okay. And you get to roll for mine. So, on Alex, oh. five. Oh dear. To your... <laughs> Grief. Oh, it is actually your... Um... Oh, it is my character, yeah. yeah. You break my Inferno guns. Yeah, exactly. The, the, the Inferno gun... <laughs> Do they both break? No, just the one. So, one to three is my left, four yeah. to six is my right. Uh, does it make a difference? No. <laughs> so that was my left, so you yeah. break my left Inferno gun. And then, would you like to roll for me? Yes. No, I want you to roll. No. Oh. <laughs> so, strength nine. To your body. Oh, okay. Yeah, 15 to yeah. your body. That is a devastating. Oh, is that all? <laughs> I'm devastated. <laughs> oh, one, two. Okay, but he is gone. I killed an engine. I can yes. go home happy. Engine kill, and that's exactly what yeah. we wanted. Um, are you in Ardex? Almost certainly not. Uh, no, nowhere near. Lovely. So, your activation, madam. All right. Well, I think we're going to go with this Warhound. Mm -hmm. Before in... I possibly turn him off. But there is the potential. So I think I should be within range. So we'll start off with the Vulcan Mega Bolters. Very good. Um, so you've got no Bastions, but you've got that once per... Once per turn, free yeah. push, and full shields. Okay, so that is going to be a five hit. Five hit. So that'll be the free push. Okay. Three of the wrong ones. We take a shield. Lovely. The death of a thousand cuts begins. And then hit you on fours. Nope. Okay, scatters. Have you got dice? I do indeed. Let's do the first one. It's going to be an inch, so that's going to be two hits. Two hits. And the second one. An inch, so four hits. Yeah. Okay, fine. <laughs> very cool, very cool. Yes. Um, I will push. Yes. Uh... For ah, these reactor dice, when they're blank side up, you can never find them. We take a heat and. Uh, uh, sorry, two heat and a shield. Um, this is becoming a problem. Lovely. Okay, me. Right. Well, I may as well try and turn you off now. Yes. Um, I'm, I'll do it. Like I'm not. I'm looking for like a six to yeah. hit you, but may as well give it a go. So draining for a heat. Six. Nope. Uh, have I used favour by fortune this turn? You have not. I have not. May as well. I think yeah. that's coming his way. Miss. Okay. And then mega bolter is range twenty. You'll be out of range. Yeah. Okay. Um, Back to you. Could you do me the favour of measuring between this Titan and your Warmaster? So I think we're going to be within outside 20. Outside 20, you're within 24. Okay. Well, we've measured now, so we're going to fire. Um, we'll do the two plasma blast gun and just hit you on fours. So that's going to be a hit and eight. Uh, ooh. 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 Centre mass, would it be? Centre mass. How big is that the angle? I think you're going to get a single hit on yourself there. Okay. Ooh. Um, cool, one. Cool. One hit on you, and two on me. Yes. Uh, well, I just melted my reactor, so I can't really push anymore. Not for two, so we'll just take on the Warmaster. We're fine. Okay, and then I believe his voids are down. Oh dear. Yes. So, it's a strength eight hit to yep. the... Body. Yeah, strength 10 for body. It's not yeah. nothing. It's not nothing indeed. Um, okay, I may as well carry on then. Yes. So we will go this other Warhound into the Warmaster. Very good. I mean, technically that Warhound activates, but yeah. yeah. Oh, yes. Yes. Um, hitting you on twos. So that is going to be <laughs> um, for 
eight, ten hits. Right, okay. Ten hits. Um, I know I shouldn't, but, but I will. <laughs> I'm going to push for a heat into the orange. Hooray! Threes are all in ones. Oh, goodness sakes. Uh, that'll be the voids out on its own. Oh! And then we will have a maximal fire plasma blast gun. Very good. Center mass. Threes. So I do take a heat. You do. For my trouble. You do hit me twice. Yes. And where does it scatter? Well, two. Uh, that'll still be a hit, possibly two. That is still over me, so four hits. Okay. Strength 11. Strength 11. Ferox 12. Ferox 12. Into the legs. Start at 13. Okay, so we've got a 16. That is a devastating. And two 17s. Two crits. Very good. Well, not my legs. I need those. <laughs> what about his legs? He doesn't need those. No, he does need those. <laughs> <laughs> he really needs those. Okay, and then we're going to crack on with Warmaster on Warmaster action. New, new, new. Here we go. Let's go. Okay, so first of all, we are going to max more fire. Overcharge. Uh, am I within fusion range? 16. 16. What uh, do you think? Yeah, we're going to fusion with the first one. Okay. Should we double check if you're on yes. 16? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I Meaning you're also hitting on twos. Yes, yeah, so um, we will aim for your legs. Uh, so these are fours. Oh, why am I rolling that? I don't know, but you take a heat and miss. I take a heat and miss. Guess what? We're going to try again. Did you roll oh. uh, to drain? That's that's the that's dice I was rolling. Yeah. For free. For free. Alright, fine. It all comes out of the wash. And then we're gonna do it again. Okay. So I or do, do gain another heat. Yeah, you I gain, gain another heat. So it does put me in the orange. And then you make a command check. Yes. Um so I'm going to spend a stratagem. The Legio Metallica special stratagem, mm. which means before you roll for the command check for machine spirit, it has to be mm. machine spirit specifically. You automatically pass. Oh, okay, that's quite niche, but yes. quite cool. One command, one stretching point. Um, but yes. Why would you not just take Iron Resolve all the times? If Iron Resolve was any command track, you'd assault it. I pass! Okay, you pass, but cool, fair enough. So you do gain the heat. Yes. And did you roll to hit already? Uh, so it was two hits. Yep. And now you I got just a heat for Machine roll. Spirit and a heat for the one you rolled. That's right, so cool. I, it does put me in the orange, so I, I went up two heat. Okay. Um, so this is going to be into your legs. Yes, Strength 13. You are on a plus two. Okay, so that's going to be, well, add it up. Off the end of the track. So we're uh, going to be... Crit, crit, crit. Yeah, you do three crits, he is dead. Oh, well, oh. oh you were two pips away, you've just done yes. two crits. So one, two, crit. One, two, crit, crit. Engine, Engine. kill! <laughs> Do I take you with me somehow? Yes. Probably not. Uh, come on, check for Tempestus. One of my guns. Oh, okay. Which gun? At whom? Your voids are fine. Mm -hmm. That's really upsetting. Uh, how are your Warhounds voids? Um, he's got. Uh, he's got full voids. That that Warhound who got shut down. Shucks. Voids are fine. Oh, that's upsetting. Um, let's go with go with the plasma. Yes. Into your ball, into your wall master. I'm going to drain. Very good. For a heat and a machine spirit. Yes. Uh, I'm going to make a command check. I'm going to. Damn it! I think I pass. Ah. If I fail, to be raffle and fire a gun for free. <laughs> um, maximal fire, obviously. Yeah. We. Oh. Goodness sakes! We do hit you twice. What? We're good. Okay. And then we die. A mere plus one to this. Seven. Wildfire. Well, someone's getting hurt. So, that way? Yep. Are you still in arc? Yes. Cool. Because that's the line. So, all the guns. Uh, now I can't do any shenanigans because it's now wildfire rather than tempestus mm -hmm. rolls. Uh, your voids are untouched, aren't they? Yeah. So it doesn't really matter in the order here. We'll fire the Revelator first. Looking for fives. Revelator's corridor. We won't fire the Revelator. Should we keep that roll or roll yeah, again? Yeah, yeah, you so got two hits. First Suzerain, two hits. I do drop one. Second Suzerain, no hits. And then we fall. Thank you. We're onto you if you're with 12. 
I have no idea what I rolled. That is a crumple. Oh. The War Master is defeated. Oh, well done. <laughs> Yay! I did the thing. You did the thing. Yay. It was going to happen to somebody, wasn't it? Um, cool. I think we're done. I think we're done. Have we got any critical hits on anybody? I'm fine. I'm also fine. Okay. Emotionally, <laughs> I'm a bit shook up. Other um, than that, I am fine. I do burn the objective for 25 yes. points. Very good. And your my barrage will go away. Priority for turn four. Yes. Four. Two. I will take it. Makes sense to me. Yes. Back to moment for turn four then. Right, where do we leave off? <laughs> Beginning of turn four. That's um, the one. Would you like to recap for us, Alex? Yes, uh, so I'm still a bit stunned after what happened to my War Master. Uh, strategy phase. I played no stratagems, I was out. Sophie, you, you played Great Crusade Titans. Yeah, I did. <laughs> and then, oh, you took, it, took initiative, took priority. It went on to your orders. You gave a charge order to your War, War Master. War Master. Yeah. Rolled a one. Yeah. So, strategy points well spent. Uh, uh, and I gave no orders to my stuff. Movement. Um, what's gone where? <laughs> okay, so first of all, um, I moved my warhound up here. So that basically that gave me a warhound for each warhound that you were going to move. Indeed. Because then Alex uh, moved basically up the bum of the war warmaster. Yep. Um, I then moved up. Up the bum of the warhounds. Yes. And then walked away with the warmaster. Yes. Yes. Uh, my dire wolf circled around the building, so I've managed to dodge that warhound over there. I've got line of sight to the warmaster, looking for a, a five into a six to turn him off. We'll give it a go. Strange mm -hmm. things have happened, but uh, I've, I do, of course, have a problem uh, around the corner. Very good. Damage control. Now you were in the orange with the warmaster, which I think was entirely worth it. I think so too. Um, but it did mean my void shield dropped. But yep. I did manage to get two back. Yep. And you're still healthy heat-wise. So you've taken a bit of body damage, but that's it. Yes, and I used my infused super coolant um, to get all that heat back. Very good. So. My repair rolls are fairly uneventful. Uh, both of these times are quite fresh. I think they are now, in fact, both fresh. Mm -hmm. uh, but they are staring down a lot of gunfire. Yep. So into combat. Sophie, you're going first. What's happening? We are going to maximal fire plasma blast gun from the Warhound. Uh, right near you, Alex. Yep. And we're going center mass? Center mass. Oh, no, we'll stick it on the nose. Yep. On God. the nose. Very um, good. So hit it on threes because I'm Ferox. Yes. Oh, Ferox is great. Why don't people play this more often? <laughs> uh, so hit and a miss. Uh, still be two hits. I reckon still be one. Hit, maybe. Yeah, you're yeah. on my nose, weren't you? So one. Yeah, one. So three hits at strength 12. Very 13 good. Ferox. 13 for Ferox. What? Um. <laughs> Three crits to the body, that's an engine kill. Yeah, that's an engine kill. Uh, do I get to shoot you before I die, though? Uh, no. no. <laughs> and how do you go? Not quietly, ah. wildfire. Whee! Uh, okay, quietly. I ventilate that building. Yes. And then I fall over. Uh, and I crumple. Do hit me. I do, so hit your warhound. So D6. Five hits, strength six, to your body, so that'll be a nothing, a nothing, uh, a ten, and two elevens. Very good. Um, okay, so a ten and two elevens. I believe elevens are still They direct. are still yeah. directs, yes. And then we, we go away. Okay. Um, well, he did his job. Yes. He did his job. Yes. Uh, I'm going to see if I can turn a Warmaster off with Direwolf. Yes! <laughs> One shot, you've got cover, so we're looking for a five. New battle round, so you're favoured by Fortune. Yay! I do hit you, the dream's alive! Where do I hit you? In the head, that uh, can't hurt you, but on a six, I will turn you off. Yes. That's your head? Um, 13, so no, you That's, would have needed uh, 13 a 6. Is, is 13 does hurt you. So you rolled a 12. Yes. Oh, no, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, you are right. Yeah. Probably rolled an 11, I think. So on a 6, you turned off. No. no. Um, and the bolters, uh, they annoy your shields, maybe. Pip, pip, pop. Do you want to finish me off? Yay, let's roll it on camera. Do you want to do me the honour of killing me with the Warmaster? 
Yes, so first we are going to strip the four shields. Yes. Um, so we will, well, we're going to try anyway. So hitting on twos, it's going to be, you have used your bastard shielding, so it's going to be six. Um, did you gain one heat for the? Uh, oh, I didn't even roll, did I? No, it doesn't matter. I'll roll, I roll can't it find now. The dice. There we go. Thank you. I gained the heat. Cool. Would you like to push your shields? Yes. Yeah. Two heat, please. And two shields. And then we will plasma blast gun you. It's got to be four hits. Okay, I'm going to push again. Yay. Yes. Uh, am I on fours? Uh, yes. Then I drop four shields. For no heat. Then comes the main event. <laughs> we're going to... Uh, we're not going to push for fusion because you're not within half range, but we are going to maximal fire. Yeah. Um, with the first one, so we'll do... We've got a minus two on one. Yep. And we've got a clear shot with the other. Yeah, because his guns are so big and so far apart. Yeah. So are you doing clear shot one or the inaccurate one first? We'll do the clear shot one first. So threes. So, oh, actually, no, we'll do the obscured one first. Okay, so just five. see what happens. Maximal firing. One hit. Okay. To your legs. Okay, I think that might be a crit. Um, just about. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so one, two, and a critic. Oh. Next. We will then. Now, do you aim? Or do you just fire and see what happens? We're just going to fire and see what happens, I reckon. With the other suzerain? With the other suzerain. So Max fire? Maximal firing. I've no idea what happened. Two hits. Okay. Um. Weapon! <laughs> Which weapon do you utterly obliterate? Four, five, six. It's the neutral laser. No. You break my bolters. Yes. Okay, we will then aim with the turbo laser destructor, the first. Okay. So, and we're aiming into the legs, of course. Yeah, these are clear line of fire because they're high enough up. So, fives. A hit. Okay, I am on no bonuses yet. I don't, oh, plus one. So strength nine. So, a 12. Which would just be a direct. Very good. And then we will do the same with the other one. Whew! Fours! Very, <laughs> very good. Um, here we go. <laughs> so... It's a spicy roll. Yeah. It's a spicy roll. <laughs> that is going to be two 13s. I do have a plus one, so two 14s. Yep. So it's one, two, and then onto a crits. They're not crits, they were devastating. Okay. Then we've got the Revelator. Can you reveal your knowledge? Uh, three shots hitting all fives. Into the legs? Oh, into dear. Legs. Yeah, so um, I should have said into the legs. So this is strength all of it, isn't it? Um, I don't I, Oh, strength eight. Okay. So I'm down on a plus three, so this is strength 11. So I need to roll a four up and you are dead. Okay. Yay! Engine kill! And that is game. Hang on, hang on. Oh. I'm going to shoot. I might be able to turn you off. Just for the moral victory. Do I get to? Uh, no. oh. Good game. Good game, Alex. Well played. We will <laughs> clean up the dice and we will be back in a second to talk about some Warmaster nonsense. <laughs> okay. What a ridiculous game. Do you have fun though? Yeah. <laughs> God, all masters are stupid, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, we, were, we were saying, I think their ideal prey is other war masters. Yes. Um, the ideal game for a war master is versus another war master, because both of you know, we're not taking this especially seriously. <laughs> yeah. um, against a more sensible list, they don't really do a whole lot, but this list was about the war masters, wasn't it? it was two yeah. war masters punching each other, well, shooting each other, and some other stuff running around them. Yeah, like uh, we had the we had the standard sort of three warhounds and warmaster game, yeah. which I think I think is is quite popular because you sort of realise. I do wonder, in the future, we might do something ridiculous like a a four thousand point game or something, or maybe a three thousand point game, which is essentially your normal seventeen fifty with a warmaster on top. <laughs> I think that would, that would actually be quite good, mm. um, and I think that's maybe where they because it's it's there but it's not necessarily the only focal point yeah whereas here even in this it was still each one was over half our list i think um which yeah they, they are they're not good enough to merit being over half your list i think but that's a good thing mm. i don't i wouldn't really want to see a war master meta uh, <laughs> where they are like an auto take or yeah. dominating like competitive games and so on i i like that they are dumb narrative choices uh if i want to swear i've got the side lines. <laughs> Yeah, exactly, and, and I've got my knights if I want to sweat, so, yeah. yeah. 
Hadaki Fire Metallica, congratulations on your first win with them, I think. It is my first win. I went to a tournament uh, with these and I got beaten up by a child, um, which you... I fully deserved. Usually when we say that, we mean, oh, I lost to someone very new at the game. No, no, Sophie lost to a literal child. I think he was nine years old. <laughs> yeah, and I wasn't pulling punches. <laughs> That's it. Which actually, I hope, makes anyone who I've played who's watching this and beaten, I hope it makes you feel worse. <laughs> an advantage if you're nine years old like getting like line of sight comes instinctively to you for the exactly. models exactly because nine-year-old meta yeah <laughs> <laughs> everyone turns up to the next tournament just their team of nine-year-olds yeah yeah exactly but like athletes once they age out of the bracket they just yeah. uh, let go put on the streets it's very sad <laughs> <laughs> sorry you're too old for that, <laughs> no they just get the, we, the, we could get taller tables you know with standing desks as you, as you age up, and you just say, oh, come on, we've got like another crank. There's a talk we went to recently where the high table is literally a standing desk, so yeah. the high tables are just higher than the other ones. It's very funny. It's great. <laughs> um, Rambling, off topic. What are we talking about? <laughs> the off to so off topic. <laughs> uh, Titanicus, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, to be honest, it's, it's, I've not got many hot takes, because it's, you know, we're, not, we're not looking for, for competitive. I suppose, Legion and Metallica, how did you find playing against them? I think they're good. Yeah. Um, I think the possibility of a double activation, there are so many moments that could be clutch. Mm. Uh, yes, it's a risk on almost any engine, but also you can do the maths. You can say, you know, if I can get onto the objective, uh, things like, say, the one I have there, if you're able to say, I don't know, run onto an objective and burn it with a double activation, okay, your voice go down next turn, maybe because you're in the orange, but whatever, you've scored 25 points. Mm. I think they're really cool. I think they, there's a lot of, um, a lot of mileage. I think with the bigger Titans, so one of the things I do, this is all I've got from Metallica now, but actually Titanicus, the way, you know, I can probably quickly paint some more stuff up. Um, it won't take me too long. These are, these are actually um, really quite easy to paint up. It's just red. Mm. I don't know why my Legio Mortis took me so long. These are super quick. <laughs> um, so there will be more. I do want to invest in the Nemesis Warbringers. I was about to say, I think yeah. a World Warbringer would be really, it's the right level of being able to take the heat mm. for a Metallica, while still being a bit more maneuverable than a Warlord. Yeah. Uh, with the Direwolves, mm. do you take out an optional Warhound? They replace an optional Warhound unless you're Ordax, in which case they can replace uh, a Reaver. I'm not Ordax. Yes. I'm Metallica. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, so I think I think I was just thinking sort of maybe maybe running um, an Arcus, um, mm. an Arcus manifold with these, or uh, probably a Ruptura, maybe at some point. Um, just having that option of a second. Uh, oh God, Ruptura mm. would be incredibly high skill ceiling to get the most out of it, but being able to double activate when a Warbringer kills something. Triple activate with yes. Metallica. Um, again, you'll have to really like do lots of stage management to get it to work. But you could suddenly just. Yeah. Can you activate an engine that's already activated with, with the Metallica thing? No. No. Okay. No, you can't. All right. So, um, Ruptura. Mm -hmm. uh, second act. Ruptura. Get a kill. Mm -hmm. Activate another Titan. Mm -hmm. Weapons to full. Mm -hmm. uh, get four activations in a row. Explodes because you've got like orange and red across the board, but you've probably tabled your opponent before <laughs> back to back activations. It's a stupid idea, mm. but it'd be very funny. Yes, yes, it would. Um, and then we will see it about expanding into some warlords as well. It's nice to have a full collection. Yes, yeah, and they'll look good in the color scheme. Mm, yes, um, I mean, yeah, I haven't really got much else. The, the war master with the extra activation only came out once then, but actually, I think it was. Kind of, not clutch, but it was definitely important. It was a big deal. It meant that Warhound yeah. I was going to shut down, scampered out of range, and you got to fire at the same time. Mm. Yeah, because that that Warhound with the grav and the um, the sniper hound, mm. I did. I managed to kill it before it shot um, the the Warhound, which then was still alive at the end of the game and gunned down the the objective holder. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that was that was good. I mean, I've score. Uh, you won. You tailed me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, also, I had not. You had on their forebears, so you had mm. 25, 
He was still alive, four denied, and so 35. I killed your reaver as a secondary target, so whatever. Mm. Uh, so yeah, I think you finish on 35, I finish on 25, maybe more, depending on how much your list the reaver is. It's a win to you either way. Um, but yeah, it was, it was the match play thing was nice, always good. Yeah, um, yeah still, still enjoy. Oh, playing loyalist. Mm. That was actually pretty good. I think Iron was on. We've worked out, haven't we? Alex pointed out, actually, that the Legio Metallica Harmony and Resolve is just a worse Iron Resolve. Uh, well, Harmony and Order is just a worse Iron Resolve. But because you can take Iron Resolve multiple times, yeah. you, if you wanted to have that in your pocket, you would just take Iron Resolve twice yeah. because it's any command check, which is also, like, it's failed commands. It's For Tempestus, it's great because when I die, I can auto pass. Um, yeah, I don't know why it exists. Yeah. Um, I was going to say you've met maybe when you used to pick your strategies before the game, but even then you can pick our resolve twice. Hmm. So, it, Traitor Metallica, there we go, that's what it's for. Yes. Uh, that well known, <laughs> lore accurate mm. uh, way of playing them. Yes. Um, oh, no, they're, 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 they are traitor. I may run them as traitor at one point. And yeah, just, give it a go. Why not? I do want to try the, um, the melee build and try running them as traitors. Um, I think it's probably got a bit more teeth. Mm. Um, I want to, at some point, try mixing and matching weapons. Uh, mm. And maybe this is why you can't, because I think the plasmas and the Gatling cannon would do a lot of work. So the weird thing about the Warmaster, the shooting Warmaster, is it can't crack shields. Mm. Not reliably. I think maybe, uh, I mean, we didn't take them, but having two Vulcan Megabolters. Yeah, maybe. Would actually do it. Um... And that is what I did mean to bring. Um, I just forgot to paint it up. So. <laughs> but it turned out that the laser destructors, that's... that's yeah, the, quite pokey. Yeah, well, they finished off the dire, the yeah. direwolf. Um, and just having that sort of long-range firepower, 30 inches, which is pretty long-range on the mm -hmm. Titanicus board. Yeah. 32 on a laser. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. All right, well, that's all I've got to add. Yeah, nothing else from me. Um, In which case, it's um, thank you very much for watching. Uh, do think about subscribing, drop a little like, comment on the video. You know what it's like. Check out our Patreon if you feel like supporting the channel. Obviously, no obligation if not. Um, emergency exits are located at the fore uh, side and rear of the craft. And it will be goodbye from me, Sophie. And goodbye <laughs> from the barrel. Goodbye. <laughs>